Tour alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Butterbukis is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Eddie Chambers is making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right, keep busy. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Keep it going. We're underway here. We've been talking in the lead up to this fight about who has the advantage with the speed. Well, we know who that is. Move As for his head. opponent? Well, his opponent's going to have to come up with something else. And what he's going to have to come up with is timing. You know, timing can negate speed. How so? Well, just making sure that before your opponent starts, you time him. You beat him to the mark. You're not as fast as him, but guess what? The good news, this is not a strength. This is a boxing match. You can beat him to the mark. All intents and purposes, you're faster. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Watch the hook. Blocks that punch. Damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and he goes first knockdown tonight. One, two, three, four. Five. Butterbean's now getting back up off the canvas. Good left hand able to land. Butterbean's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Is that punch intended for the head? Butterbean's punch is far off the target. Blocks that punch. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, 
but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. End of round one. Eddie Chambers is coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knockdown. I suppose right now he's got to think to himself, Teddy, how did I do that, and how can I do that again? He should think that to himself. That's what his corner's there for, to remind him. You know how you did it? Do it again. All right, you look great. Just don't go crazy in there. Box smart for me. You got any more of Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets stopped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Butterbean's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Fires off that hook. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. You see him holding on. Eddie Chambers is proving to be elusive. And now looking to hang on. And here he goes again with the clinching. Halfway through round number two. Chambers with a big right. Hey, 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 let's go! Butterbean's tying up more now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can win other rounds. And he can be around for other rounds. Get out of the way from those punches! Headshot lands, was a hook. Butterbean's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight now. He is having trouble. Oh, and a big right hand land. What a big shot. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. Assert your punches. You got any more of these? I'll do the one. Hold it. What do you need? Yeah. All right, how you doing? Nice and calm? Nice and calm, right? How you feel? He's counterpunching. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's, wow, what a right hand he just got caught by. And he's looking to tie up. 
Good block by Eddie Chambers. Eddie Chambers is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed. He's just the faster, quicker fighter, and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent. Oh, he has that physical asset, no doubt about it. You can see it, but he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Not precise at all by Eddie Chambers. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Pace yourself. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Punch! and beat the count, a knockout victory. Walked right into that one. Let's make it official, and for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's gonna get everybody in the division's attention. Eddie Chambers, his power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot, wow. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.